Wow, look at that. Big waterfall down there. <laughs> See this? This is going to be the problem right here. This is my problem. It's day one of the SCAR, the South Carolina Adventure Route. This is going to be a fun one. I'm starting right now in Franklin, North Carolina. Let me show you on the map. Uh, right up here in the Smokies, we're in North Carolina. But I'm going to drop down into South Carolina and kind of hug the border there for a while, the South and North Carolina border. Uh, eventually, in the next few days, I will make my way all the way down to the coast, the Atlantic, and then begin my way back on the southern part of the state, all the way to the western part of the state, right by Georgia. Am I jumping into Georgia? I can't remember. I might actually go into Georgia a little bit. I think it's a little bit. Yes. And then I'm going to end back up here in the Smokies in Franklin, North Carolina. This one is going to be a blast. We're starting in the mountains. Uh, I'm going to end up on the coast, so I'm going to see lots of different terrain. On the map, you'll see the red lines, these red ones. These are these are the more difficult ones. I don't have no idea like how difficult, but we're going to I'm going to do those. Um, Here's my campsite right here. Uh, my wife and I stayed here. She's got her Sprinter van that I will meet up with her at night. But during the day, I'll be solo riding on, it's about 50% dirt this trip. Uh, some pavement, some dirt. But that's gonna be a lot of fun. I, the bike is ready. I'm riding the, I'm riding the KTM 890. And the bike is ready, and I am ready. Are you ready to experience adventure? Nice little downtown area. This place is kind of famous for uh, like a stop on the Appalachian Trail, which is, uh, what was that, like 3,000 miles or something crazy like that from Georgia to Maine. And so I'm already seeing hikers. Uh, there's one coming up next to me right here. Hey, I'll take a cappuccino if you have any left. Size you want to do? I got 12, 16, or 20 ounce. Oh, like a medium should work. Starting it right. Cappuccino and then moto. How long do you think you'll be uh, riding for? This loop is going to take me about six days. Yeah, so about a couple hundred miles a day. Wow. You'll, be, you'll be sore by the end of that. Oh, of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah. So I'm going to be time for a, a well break. Well-deserved break. A couple hours, right? I'll take it. Yeah, I'll take a day <laughs> off and then go do another one. There you go. <laughs> Blue Creek Road, I believe this is it. No, it's not the right way. Ah, I gotta be on that road down there. <laughs> you know, when you miss a turn out here, sometimes I just don't really mind because it's beautiful. And I just get to see a little bit more. It's like little, you know, a bonus route. I didn't plan on seeing this little part, but I'm not complaining. This is incredible. <laughs> wow, look at that. Big waterfall down there. <laughs> this is crazy cool. I'm never going to get to my destination. There's just so much to see. Look at this. <laughs> I love it. Hey, how Look how cool this is. It is shaking. It's like a uh, trampoline. <laughs> I haven't gotten far and I'm getting distracted by cool things like this. I mean, look at this river. Look how beautiful it is. This is just, it's just so nice here. The Smoky Mountains, pretty special. See this? This is gonna be the problem right here. 
this is my problem i've got 200 miles to go but i keep getting distracted by this these things are everywhere and it's so awesome i have to stop i have to take a picture i have to take it all in and uh i'm never going to get there so right now at this rate i'll get there at midnight <laughs> oh gosh look at this one <laughs> what was i just saying I'm rolling into a place called Highlands, Highlands, North Carolina. I'm not gonna stop, I'm so far behind, but this, uh, I wanted to stop here, maybe grab something to eat, but I'm gonna skip lunch and keep on going. Let me see what we have over here. How are you? It's all mixed together or is it separate? They're separate. Okay, so you said almonds. Pecans, purple and cashews are good. And cashews. No time for lunch, so it's candy pecans today and they're warm mm. okay i'm ready for some dirt that's what i'm talking about i'm excited to be back on dirt this is where i really come alive i mean there's nothing wrong with pavement but man when i get on the dirt i know i'm going places that are more remote and more sights to see and less traffic if you know what i mean less people have been there Okay, I just crossed over into South Carolina and back on dirt. The weather is perfect. It just can't get any better. It's uh, 66 degrees and just awesome. A little baby waterfall. A little baby one. Someday you'll grow up and be a big waterfall. It's a lot of windy roads and switchbacks a lot of 180 switchbacks to go up the mountain and because everything is so windy so okay so it makes it fun it keeps you on your toes so some of these curves will kind of sneak up on you so if you get to going too fast and try to get hard on the brakes it could it could start to slide on you and get in trouble. I'll tolerate this blacktop for a little while so that I can get to another dirt road. <laughs> it's not illegal to be a biker. <laughs> so I'm just thinking as I'm riding these roads out here, I talked to a lot of people along the way, people that have motorcycles or people that have dreams of riding somewhere exotic or far away or just even locally but there's just the idea of of someday everyone says someday i would like to or someday i'm gonna someday may never come someday has to become today or someday will be never and i don't want to be I don't want to be weird by saying that because I know that there's some practical things that keep some people from going and doing it, whatever that is, but we're, it's too easy for us to fill our schedules with things that don't really matter or excuses that prevent us from taking a day off or taking a week off or or just going and searching for adventure in a little bit more of extreme way. And so I think my encouragement to everybody that's watching this is, if you say someday I'm going to, or someday I hope to, why don't you put someday on the calendar and make it a goal? This gravel's kind of marbly. It's got a hard base under it. And it's gravel on top. It gets a little bit, a little bit slippery in the corners gotta pay attention all right we're hopping back into north carolina i'm gonna kind of be zigzagging the state line here i'm gonna stay somewhere around spartanburg tonight try to get an earlier start tomorrow yeah, i'm hopping off of the main blue line which is the normal route and I'm taking the red one, which means it's supposed to be more difficult. I like a good challenge, so 
I'm hoping that this will be a pretty technical section. super steep and windy but wow look at the views these people have gosh I'm so late it's gonna be dark when I get there I may have to speed up a little bit and quit stopping <laughs> I want to show you guys like everything that I see that's interesting and all the beautiful all the beautiful things, the waterfalls, the creeks, the mountains, I wanna show it all, but what I've learned is I can't stop and uh, film everything. I have to go, otherwise I'll never get there. Okay, I'm gonna stop here at Strawberry Hill. This is where they have a bunch of strawberries and peaches and different things like that, and I think, I think they sell ice cream. Maybe they'll have Strawberry ice cream, maybe peach ice cream, maybe both. Let's go see. I'm looking for some good ice cream. There you go. What do you have? I have strawberry cheesecake, and then on the top I have, uh, what's it called? Butter pecan. Strawberry cheesecake and butter pecan. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. This is my favorite, favorite combo. Are y'all from here? Yes. From Chesney. Chesney, South Carolina. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, That's my mom. Oh, hey, how are you? Fine, how are you? Well, I want to go in there and try some ice cream. That's what you do. I think you've inspired me. Yeah. Well, then do a, a peach and a strawberry cheesecake and a cup. That's cheesecake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, right? Is that, a good, is that a good idea? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Homemade peach cheesecake ice cream and strawberry cheesecake ice cream. So let's try it. Welcome to South Carolina. All right, my dreams came true. I got me some strawberry and peach cheesecake ice cream. They grow the strawberries here and they grow the peaches right there. And they make the ice cream right back there. So it's been a good day. I am uh, not too far from where we're gonna camp tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. If you're liking these videos, please like, please subscribe. There's a lot more adventure coming.